Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor of I'm Past Life Pro, and for this day's tutorial, I decided I'd let you in on a pretty quick way to make the Seuss look a little bit warmer. For those that are interested, let me show you how it's done. Alright, now the Seuss shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate composite1.vsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down the lines 105 to 107. So, we got two sets of numbers in each line, both within the RGB setup. Let me explain. The first number calculates more of a saturation boost, whereas the second number acts as sort of a tint or a vibrant setting, if you're familiar with Photoshop. As for the first number, I recommend just skipping it altogether because I've found that some adjustments can very well mess up the bloom around the sun. So better yet, just don't use it. Though for this tutorial, we're only going to need the second one anyway. Line 105, red, second number. To increase the warmth that is displayed throughout the shader, just increase the value to something that suits you. For my personal preference, I'm going to go with 4.00, so as to balance out my sky colors and so as to not oversaturate anything. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. If this tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!